Okay, so my walls aren't actually falling apart. Um, it's just the wallpaper. I kind of ran into a problem starting a project that I probably shouldn't have started, but I did anyway. But if you remember from my last video where I did the house tour um, of the house I just bought, I kind of went through some renovation ideas that I had. I'm starting, like I started the renovations on my garage and everything. But before I did that, I was kind of like just, just kind of like bored, you know, I was stuck at home didn't get to leave and I was just kind of bored and like my wallpaper on that entrance hall I plan on taking it all off man it's already peeling and everything so I was just like you know what let's just try and take the wallpaper off don't know if it's like the best idea really just because um, who knows when I'm gonna finish this project it's not really like on my top priorities so I could just take all this wallpaper off and make it look like crap for you know six months a year who knows when I'm gonna get it finished but you know I was bored so whatever i've never taken off wallpaper so how it kind of went was just kind of took the trim off the bottom um i was gonna take the trim completely off but because they raised the carpet at the one area i couldn't really rip it all out without me possibly just like tearing a bunch of shit up so i just kind of loosened it back in the end i guess i didn't really need to because the wallpaper didn't go below the trim like i had originally thought but you know whatever i guess i'll just make it easier when i take all that down. So in order to take off the wallpaper, I got this little thing um, that goes in the palm of your hand. It's kind of like a can opener. It's got some like wheelie blades. You kind of rub it on the wall and uh, it kind of scores it so that you can spray this stuff in it, which I got the gel version and it's supposed to kind of soak into the wallpaper so it comes off easier and then you take the scraper and just kind of scrape the wallpaper off. I started doing that. I started at one end and it kind of was very hard because at the end they kind of, there wasn't a whole lot of room, I guess, for the last sheet they put on. So like they like almost like double stacked it. So there was just like a lot of wallpaper and I was like, oh my God, this sucks. I can't get it off. But after that, it wasn't terrible. Some of the pieces came off like really well. Um, just like, I was like pulling after I got it started, I could just like pull the sheets off. Other pieces, it was just like rip, 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 rip. And it was a nightmare. So along the whole way, you know, I made a mess on the floor, but you know, I had Ragna there to help me and Calvin was there too, just kind of keeping an eye on things, but it was nice to have this company so after I was done I got like the man wallpaper off and the thing was like it looked it was still brown paper underneath right um, and I was sort of confused uh, I took a couple layers of wallpaper off already like the main sheet and it seemed like maybe the backing to the wallpaper but there was still more paper and I'm like that's weird I'm um, like am I supposed to go till I see like that white drywall you know but like on one one side of the wall like it looked like I was like down like I, I shouldn't have been able to go anymore but then if I looked in a corner, I could kind of see that there was still like another layer of wallpaper or something. And that stuff was not coming off easy at all. Like it was just like rip, rip, rip. Like it would not just all come off. So I started getting a little worried. I didn't want to go like too far deep. Like I was worried that maybe they put the drywall on backwards or something so that the wallpaper would stick better. I don't know. Like, you know, this is an old home. Who knows what they did to this place. I was scared that I was going to like take off too much paper. And that wouldn't be a good thing. I kind of asked my dad, whatever. He he thinks that they put it on right. Um, just either the, the drywall has brown paper on the front side, which I haven't seen before personally, but that doesn't mean it's not a thing. Or the glue that they use to put the wallpaper on, like when they squeegeed it on, it just like, you know, changed the color of it from white to like this brown. I'm not really sure, but it's really hard to tell like the difference in the brown from the back of the wallpaper and the brown from like the drywall. Hey, future Brandon here. Um, so when I was watching this, I kind of realized that um, the explanation I did the first time didn't really make sense. So I'm gonna try to explain the dilemma I'm having a little bit better right now. I have two options, okay? <clears throat> so option one is I can spend a couple more hours taking off another layer of wallpaper. I already took off one layer. So I know that I need to take off another layer. I think it's the backing, but below that there is the cardboard kind of paper that is on top of the drywall. And the thing is, it's kind of like a brown color. Like it's kind of hard to differentiate between the backing of the wallpaper and that. So there are places where um, I've gotten down to that paper. There are places where I've gone too far. And when you go too far, you're kind of like ruining the drywall. Now, let me say you can fix drywall. Like when you just drywall a wall in general, you know, you have to mud stuff, sand it down, you can paint over it. It makes it smooth. Uh, same thing with this. I can smooth it out and sand it and all that. But the thing is, I could spend a lot of time on it. I could mess it up a lot and have to like putty the entire thing. I might already have to kind of sand down and putty most of it because when I was scoring it, I might've went a little bit crazy and done it too much. And I'm not sure exactly how deep it is. I can still see all the lines, but if I go another layer deep, 
I might get rid of them, but I'm not sure. So the question is, do I spend all these hours taking more paper off, potentially ruining it, um, and then having to go back and putty everything and sand everything, which I might have to do anyway because of the scoring, or should I just spend $30 and re-drywall it? Because it should cost about $30 to re-drywall just that little wall. Like if it was like an entire room, you know, sure I wouldn't do this, but for just that hallway, $30, is it worth it? Because I am gonna have to spend money on mud to just fix the wall in general, even if I don't replace the drywall, which sure it's not gonna be $30 worth of mud or anything, but I'm still gonna spend money and labor versus just spending the $30 to do it and have just a clean wall and have it nicely done. So I guess I'm kind of asking you what you think your opinion is. Should I just read drywall or should I spend the time trying to salvage what I have and spending a lot of work and potentially ruining it and then having to do more work and then et cetera, et cetera. So let me know in the comments what you think. Oh, and one other quick update. I did take down all the branches off that tree in the front of my house that I said I wanted to tear out. So I have the branches all like cut off, um, all that taken care of. I just gotta pull kind of the main trunk and all that out of the ground. So right now it's looking kind of rough, but hopefully we can get that out of here pretty soon. And yeah, that's pretty much honestly all I have for this video. There was, wasn't much to it other than I kind of started that project, just kind of went into it and I probably shouldn't have. I should have just waited um, until I was ready because now I'm going to have this like bare wall that looks terrible for um, a while. I'm almost done with the garage. Um, I have a video in the works for that, so um, you'll see that in a little while. Uh, and yeah, that's all I got, so I will see you in the next time.